Well, they're not. An example is Greg Doucette. At various times, calls himself Dr. Greg. He's not a doctor. If, like, cheating at every sport you ever played makes you a doctor, dope. I got eight PhDs in that case. <laughs> Coach Greg, in today's video, I'm responding to Dr. Mike Isertel and Johnny Shreve, who are going out of their way to put Coach Greg down. In these videos, they're attacking my character. They're spreading lies. And so I said, nah, it's time to put an end to this. They've gone to such a length to put me down that even the comment section on Johnny's own wall is full of negativity saying, do you guys not watch Coach Greg's channel? How can you say these things? I mean, to outright deliberately lie about what I say, to attack my character, to make pretend that this is the truth. How can you go that far? And for Johnny Shreve, who has a channel, which oftentimes he says, I don't like drama. I don't know why other people have all this drama. My channel is nothing like that. And so he's virtue signaling. Yesterday's video alone, exposing the fitness industry with Connor Sinan. It says, expose, there's a photo of Coach Greg. The video isn't even about me. He doesn't even bring up my name, but yet he's trying to create drama. The next video, it says, worst, ranking fitness influencers with Dr. Mike Isertel. In the list in the title is more plates, more dates. And so what they're doing is they're trying to create drama using very famous fitness influencers. So people will then go and watch their clickbait titles. In this video, ranking fitness influencers where Dr. Mike Isertel, they don't rank a single fitness influencer. They bring up more plates, more dates, name, and then go on to make fun of me, lie about me, and attack my character. And so let's watch the video so that I can prove, that's right, prove, every last one of you who watches this video is going to know that I never lied and that they did. How do you feel? I, I, I have my feelings about that. Send your a blend work to Greg Doucette. It's not a doctor. Why am I sending my blood work to someone just because... And so Johnny is bringing back the fact that when he was claiming to be 100% natural and made a video talking about it, that I said, all you need to do is to send me your blood work and then I can make a video talking about it. And so they're saying, yeah, you're not a doctor, but guess what? I know people who are, and I have a team of people that can discuss all of the options, likely know more than the majority of doctors. It's not a doctor. Why am I sending my blood work to someone just because... Oh, why would I send it to Greg? He's not even a doctor. Well, why didn't you send it to Derek More Plates, More Dates? Why didn't you send your blood work to someone? And so if you want to claim that you're 100% natural and to prove it to people, you have to be willing to show your blood work when you're at your best. And if you place top five in a Mr. Olympia Masters competition, that's probably when you look your best. You don't have to take my work for it. You could test Derek or I'm sure a host of other people would be willing to go over your blood work. But guys like Mike O'Hearn who do not show their blood work apparently ever, they claim to be 100% natural, but yet we doubt them. Of course we do. Shouldn't we? I mean, if we're using our brain cells, do we not know by looking at certain photos that a person may or may not be enhanced and that showing their blood work might expose them or not expose them? And so by not showing any of the blood work, we can draw our own conclusions. In real life, he doesn't talk like that. The voice is fake at all. I don't think there's a real Greg Doucette anywhere in there, man. It's facades all the way down. He says there's no real Greg Doucette in there at all. I've said countless times that I yell and scream because it gets more attention, more views. People remember me. Oftentimes people have said I sound like the parrot from Aladdin. That I'm Gilbert Godfrey, God bless his soul, but on steroids. And so I make it no secret that I do this on purpose because I know it's going to make my videos more memorable and get more views. It's facades all the way down. It just depends on what he has to be for the situation at the Time. I find it extremely ironic that what Mike Isretel is saying about me is literally a projection of what I do believe these two people are in this video. I'm sorry, but this is what I feel they are. Why would they be saying this about me when everyone who knows me, that's right, everybody, everyone says I'm extremely authentic and honest to a fault. I even had Damien the fat ass and his crew come and film me for several days trying to get to know my true authentic self. He said at the end of the visit, he's never met anyone as authentic as me, who is the person they truly are. I'm the most he'd ever met of anyone. And so to hear these guys simply stand there and attack my character, when I know for certain that at least Johnny knows that I'm not like this. Remember, Johnny and I used to be very good friends. I'm saying used to be. He, without a doubt, knows that I do not want to talk to him. 
We've had banter in the past. I'm not going to show the text messages, but you probably remember when he went and approached me at the Olympia. Do you really think I wanted to be in his video? Of course not. But he comes and approaches me with his camera woman and she's looking at me and I'm looking at her and I know that she knows there's no way I want to be in this video, but yet he doesn't care. He doesn't care about my feelings. He doesn't care about other people's feelings. He'd do whatever it takes to be successful. And so for me to sit here and see Mike Isretel speak to me about exactly how I would speak about Johnny, it's absolutely unbelievable. And he sits there and says nothing. He doesn't defend me. He doesn't say you're lying about Greg saying he's not a doctor. Greg has never said that. Greg, in fact, has a shirt saying I'm not a doctor. Literally, I've been saying it for years. From day one, I said, listen, I am no doctor. Not your doctor. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. Zero doctor. Not a doctor. He keeps saying over and over, he's not a doctor. I am literally not actually a doctor. Let me remind everyone, I am not a doctor. Before I get into that, I need to remind you, I am not a doctor. Coach Greg, today's video, going back to my roots, putting on my I'm not a doctor shirt. I am not a doctor. Do not listen to my advice. It became such a prevalent saying that people made a meme about it. Coach Greg, not a doctor. I've said this for years. It's been in a thousand plus videos. And so the fact that my Mike Isertel can assume that I said I was a doctor clearly shows he rarely watched any of my videos. He doesn't like me. This is apparent. But yet when I had Mike on my channel, he had no problem with me. He agreed with many of the things we're saying. We spoke and saw eye to eye. And so I don't know why Mike Isertel hates me so much at this point. When he approached me at the Mr. Olympia and was making fun of me the entire time and made a video trying to get reactions from people, I was simply calm. I said, yeah, okay, this is good. This is no problem. Okay. Hey, great to meet you. Trying to be a normal human being, but he would have none of it. And so when I meet people for real, and how many thousands of you out there met me at the Mr. Olympia? Does anyone have anything bad to say about me? I would love to hear from you. Please write in the comment section if you've ever met me and thought I was some kind of an ass, that I wasn't truly myself, that I wasn't a decent human being. Because I know for a fact what I am in the real world. And my friends know, other people know, but can Johnny say the same thing? I'm asking you, Johnny, can other people say the same thing? The people around you, those who love you, or at least think they do, how have you treated those people? When it comes to someone who's put in years of work, there's a difference between studying your your trade and someone who just on the internet and so johnny brings up this point and says does it bother you that mike you had to study for 10 years and there's these other fitness influencers they don't have all these degrees and yet they go out there and give their fitness advice he brings up derek more plates more dates derek has a business degree as far as i know he doesn't research medications and whatnot but yet he's very intelligent and so does it really matter another great fitness influencer jeff nippert who we don't get along but i still respect his work i know he studies hard i believe he was trying to be a dentist he didn't study exercise physiology he doesn't have a phd but he's able to study he's able to learn and he understands the material it doesn't offend me in the least you don't have to have for a degree you can say whatever you want just one rule, get it right. And Mike Isertel's response, which I love, I don't care if he studied it. He knows that you can learn these things without an actual degree. You can just read studies. You can understand it. So long as they get it right. Long as they get it right. Why does it matter? He brings up Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz has a degree, but he often gets it wrong. And so he doesn't respect people who are giving misinformation. I believe the exact same thing. I don't care if Jeff Nippert or Derek has a medical degree, if they're in fact doctors or not. All I care about is that they're trying their best, they're reading studies, and they're presenting quality information. And that they're doing in spades. You never can quite tell when people are joking, when they're not. An example is Greg Doucette. At various times calls himself Dr. Greg. He's not a doctor. And so he says, I'm saying I'm a doctor, but yet I've never said that. And I mean, we have evidence. I literally was selling this shirt. I'm not a doctor. All we'd have to do is go back and look at a thousand of my videos where I started the intro by saying, I am not a doctor, of which I've continued to do so. And the reason I did that was because I didn't want people to take my medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I give you my opinion on things. If I'm talking about HRT or testosterone, Anivar or SARMs, I'm saying, hey, I'm not a doctor. Doctor. I'm going to give you what I think, but please go and check it out with your own doctor and never break the law. How many times have I said that? 
But yet he says that I'm saying it and Johnny, he doesn't correct him. He chooses to selectively ignore that. Why do you think that is? If like cheating at every sport you ever played makes you a doctor, dope. I got eight PhDs in that case. <laughs> if speaking in a pair of voice makes you a doctor, amazing. Dr. Greg it is. If somebody else were interviewing Mike at this time, somebody who knew me and knew the answer, would they not say, hey, actually, he's, he's never actually said that. He's actually quite clear in saying he isn't a doctor. Just wanted to clear that up. And Mike could have said, oh, I never knew that. I thought he was saying to be a doctor. Oh, he's not that bad after all. He's, he's not a liar. He's not pretending to be whatever it is he needs to be. I've been accused of being a lot of things. Snake oil salesman, nar Narcissist, all kinds of things. Not those things. In fact, let's look up what a narcissist is. Narcissist personality disorder is a mental health condition in which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. They need and seek too much attention and want people to admire them. People with this disorder may lack the ability to understand or care about the feelings of others. People who truly know me, they know I'm not a narcissist. I literally would ask them, say, hey, I've read a lot of comments, people saying I'm a narcissist. What do you think about that? People who are experts, Greg, you're not a narcissist at all. You're not even close to being like that. You've dated narcissists in the past, but you are certainly not one of them. I had an open mind. I said, May, maybe I am. What is a narcissist? I'm looking it up and I'm thinking, well, I care about people's feelings. I don't understand. I'm very open. I'm very honest. I'm very transparent. I ask the questions. I try to be a great communicator, but yet people are saying I'm a narcissist. Why? Because I make videos, because I have a lot of views because I enjoy selling products. There's a difference between having high self-esteem and being a narcissist. I've been studying narcissism in detail as of late because certain people that I've dated in the past were with narcissists. And I was like, what made them a narcissist? What did they do to you? Am I possibly a narcissist? Well, a narcissist will love bomb you. They'll throw in love bombs. They'll say everything amazing about you. They'll try to get you to fall for them, but then they slowly take it away. They gaslight you consistently. These are things that I never do. I don't do this. And a narcissist would never say, hey, am I being a narcissist? Am I being narcissistic? Am I saying too many nice things? Narcissists, no way they would do that. But yet other people who have had narcissists in the past, they know what it's like. They know how they treat them. And so if there's anyone that's a narcissist between the three of us, it's certainly not me. Well, they're not. An example is Greg Doucette. At various times calls himself Dr. Greg. He's not a doctor. If like cheating at every sport you ever played makes you a doctor, dope. I got eight PhDs in that case. <laughs> Johnny just laughs about it. He doesn't say, well, he hasn't said that. He just, he's loving it. He's going with it because he knows that he's insulting me. He's putting me down. It helps his narrative. Oh, he picks on me. He was supposed to be there. He was at my wedding. It was this and that. He's exaggerating everything acting like he's so much superior to me. It's ridiculous. And so I just sit back and let it slide because it doesn't really affect me because I'm doing well without it. But when he makes a video and deliberately lies with Mike Isretel about me, then I'm going to defend myself. You can say I care too much. You can say I'm being overly dramatic. I'm just telling you the truth. If it's funny, and it's a joke, I love it. And that's almost certainly what Greg is doing. Yeah. But I think a lot of people on his channel don't actually know that he's not a doctor at various points. And that's kind of on them. I mean, I'm shocked right now that Mike Isretel actually thinks that I've said I'm a doctor, that I confuse my audience, that I trick them, that I say I'm a doctor, that I speak in a parrot voice, and that I get away with saying certain things. The information I provide on my channel has changed millions of lives. I hear it every single day, multiple times a day. I don't invent bullshit. I speak from the heart. I speak from my experience. I speak from my education. And I do believe my master's in kinesiology and the fact that I had the highest GPA, won the university medal for the highest average, does say something about my character. That I put in the work, that I can study. I don't just pick things up and put them down. But then again, like look into who you're following and make sure they're really a doctor. Again, I'm not a doctor. And so maybe when Mike Isertel watches this video and discovers that I never said I was a doctor ever in my life, that he'll now suddenly think, oh, Coach Greg isn't that bad. He's actually a pretty honest guy. He doesn't lie. I would much rather take uh, nutritional advice from Dr. Coach Greg than Dr. Oz, even though you're like, dude, Dr. Greg has a fucking master's degree in teaching or some shit like that. And so Mike, at least give me some credit. I'd rather get nutrition advice from Greg Doucette than Dr. Oz, even though Dr. Oz is a doctor and I have some teaching masters, which is actually a master's in kinesiology. I have a kinesiology degree. I have my master's. I have a lot of education and I didn't stop learning there. Not only that, 
I also have a team in place. I have very intelligent, smart people that work for me. And so they do, in fact, fact check. I'm sure my brother, who's a biostatistician, was working for a Dalhousie. I'm sure he's going to say, hey, you made a mistake here. Let's not do that. And I do, in fact, fact check with other people to make sure that I'm not giving misinformation. If I don't understand something, perhaps it has something to do with blood work. I'm going to check the top level professionals to make sure the information is accurate. At least at various points. Greg will be honest about some things. Various points? Do you really think I lie? Do you really think I stand here and make up facts? Pretend to tell the truth on occasion? That is an attack of my character. Everyone who knows me knows I'm nothing like this. I'm very open and honest, very transparent, and I actually overshare so many details. People say, Greg, why are you telling people about that? You don't need to tell that. Ask anyone. Does Greg overshare? Does he say too much? And you'd be like, yeah, I tell everyone what I think. I give you my opinion because I want to be open, honest, and transparent. And so I was happy to see in the comment section that people were actually defending me. Remember, this is on Johnny's channel. They're his fans and they're defending me. Greg isn't immune to criticism. He is not always right. But for years, he's been saying he's not a doctor. There's even an image saying that in the cover of his YouTube profile. He also openly talked about why he used that voice in quite a few videos. It gets him more views simple as that. I don't really like that, but at least he is honest about it. I love you guys and credibility is a very important topic, but the reasons you pointed out about Greg in this video are not true. Stay strong. I feel at this point that there is just jealousy towards Greg. I missed the part where you ranked fitness influencers. And so you see that? Clickbait title, there was no ranking of fitness influencers, yet Johnny literally will criticize me for having clickbait titles. Be fair to Greg. I doubt these two watch his videos. Greg literally used to sell a shirt that says I'm not a doctor on it. It's also in his about me. Johnny watches almost every single one of my videos. He's told me I've been in probably 20 of them and I used to promote him when we were in fact friends. He knows for fact that Mike Isertel was spewing nonsense and failed to correct him. He deliberately chose not to say anything. You know this to be true. You know there's no way that Johnny thought that I'd said I was a doctor in my videos. But he sat there loving it, loving the drama. Greg is the smartest guy on YouTube when it comes to diet, supplements, gear, etc., etc. Actual training advice, Greg's okay, but not the best. And so there you have it. This is an honest assessment. Do I give great information? I think so. Do I give the best information about everything? Perhaps you're a better people. But one thing I'm not is a liar. Dude, I love you both and I see your content, but if you're going to bash Greg, at least do it right. He literally says I'm not a doctor on almost every video. I've never heard him telling that he is a doctor and you didn't mention that he has studies. It ends up like you two just bashing him for no reason, telling nonsense. I'm a fan of your channels and I have not reached your YouTube channels if I didn't start watching Greg's channel first. He was the first guy that I've found that make me understand what the F I was doing. So there you have it. Not only do I think this proves that I was telling you the truth, it also shows how Johnny was discovered from watching my channel. And he enjoys my content, the first person to help him understand what the F he was doing. No wonder Greg was like, oh, this guy, when he saw Johnny. Yeah because I didn't want to be in any videos and Johnny knew without question that I did not. I am not your friend. We're not buddies. We don't talk to each other. Why are you writing me? I've said this. I'm not going to read the messages, but Johnny knows we're not friends. He's not to approach me. I don't want him recording me in videos and he needs to stop taking advantage of people just to become popular. Mike doesn't seem to like Greg. I understand why some don't like Greg, but I feel like some examples would be useful here. He kind of just said he's two-faced and gets things wrong with no explanation at all. Yeah, I wonder how that works. Oh, I just don't like him. He lies about being a doctor. He does this, he does that. And uh, let's move on. Yeah, no actual proof, no knowledge, and actually saying a bunch of lies. Actually, Coach Dr. Greg is a lawyer. I read it somewhere on the internet. And so perhaps he's just looking at what people say. Oh, Greg's a doctor. I didn't say it. Somebody else did. And so am I also a lawyer, a carpenter, a plumber? Am I a freaking porn star? Am I an OnlyFans creator? I'm everything you want me to be, but it doesn't mean I'm those things. I hold Mike to respect in some regard, but his bias to credentials is not only obvious, it's disgusting. Like when he criticized the 20% performance loss on five minute rest for a 10RM Greg once used to measure fatigue. 
He tried to destroy it, but Jeff Nocaf Valier used it too. Same year, viral video. Did he speak about it? No. Then say, Greg is masters in teaching. It is kinesiology, which clearly Mike doesn't respect. Only good point he has is nobody knows if Greg is real. This, I believe, is very true. Greg seems to be a businessman, so he'll say whatever makes money flow. I am so much more authentic than you believe. Of all the people that we spoke about here, Mike, Johnny, Greg, Derek, I am by a mile. I do stupid moves. I say what I want. I doubt certain things. I'll tell you how much money I sold on Black Friday. Oh, Greg, don't announce that. Don't tell people how much you're selling. I don't care. I'm that honest. I can tell you exactly. I've almost sold 100,000 cookbooks and training books up to this point. And so other business people say, don't announce how much money you're making. Don't tell the people, been coached. Don't say anything. Don't announce it. Don't care. If it hurts my sales, so be it. I am authentic. I'm myself. I tell you the truth. I overshare information. And so one thing I'm not is a liar. I'm the realest of the real. There is no one I can think of that is more real than me. And so let me know in the comment section, what do you think of all this? Does anyone think that I've actually been lying about saying I'm a doctor? Do you believe that Johnny does videos on drama? Or do you think that he's virtue signaling? Oh, I don't do drama videos. That's all that Greg guy. I don't do that. I'm above that. Oh, and don't forget about all the supplements that I openly am trying to sell and that I speak exactly what they do to me. If I say something adds four pounds to this, does two pounds of that, made me bench press this much, made me feel this way, it's exactly what it did. I'm telling you the truth. I am not going to lie about what any of my supplements do. And this cookbook, it's freaking incredible. It's a amazing. It's changing so many lives. Probably millions of people have been using my recipes. They are legit and easy to make. I'm not bullshitting you. You don't think I actually eat these recipes? Of course I do. I have a private chef living in my house making these recipes for me because they're that freaking good. And so if you want to support me or my channel, you want to buy the best supplements you can get, please click the link in the description. Don't forget, code Greg, 10% off. And yeah, I want to make money, but I'm going to do so in integrity. I'm not going to lie. And if you don't believe me, I don't need you. Go and subscribe to some else. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to watch any of those two boops. Cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the Circle Diet Book. You can get that on the website. Don't forget, Cold Greg, 10% off. And if you want the free diet and training program, that's also on the website. Remember, it's free. Not everything costs you money. Head over to my website. And until next time, I am out.